Hello? Yeah, so we will have a discussion now. I think it's clear now. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. okay. <coughs> so, um, you told that, you know, moving data versus uh, yeah. from one environment to other environment. Yeah. Right. How frequently we get the request? So we get once in a, because our developers do that, um, uh, their development activities on sprint basis, they follow agile uh, uh, framework. So they will have, when when they are done with development, they do ask us to refresh their production, their dev environment with the production data. Like once in a, once in a month like that. Okay. So, uh, to do that activity, uh, what is actually you are going to be, you know, uh, before doing something, you are going to take care and after doing something, generally you will do, right? So, what are the activities? And uh, in development and environment, because uh, the permissions, there will be a permissions issue. So, when you take a backup of uh, production database and restore it in the development, it will override whatever the permissions that developers had in development environment. Basically, in production, they will have very basic level permissions, and we do we do script out all the logins and all the permissions, and then based on that, once backup is performed, we will we'll give the original permission. Okay. What is the difference between, you know, nowadays, uh, I know everybody migrating to from the tool, right? Yeah. yeah. So, what is the difference between the uh, older uh, versions to the 2012? Yeah, 2012, uh, we have some new features introduced, uh, like uh, uh, always on, uh, on content databases and column store indexes. So, uh, the pack up uh, some of the uh, grand new features. So. Architecture wise, I don't think there are any major changes, but uh, the, the kind of enhancements to our uh, high availability solutions and uh, some of the new features. Okay. So, what is always on? So, always on is again a uh, high availability solution. But before to start, I have not, uh, I do not have a hands on experience in always on. So, but uh, I have a basic understanding, uh, basically, it's a uh, enhancement, enhancement to our uh, mirroring and uh, clustering. Basically, in 2008, R2, uh, in 2008, R2 clustering was designed basically to handle hardware failures. Still, if there are any issues with uh, external shared, uh, shared uh, storage, it may not be able to handle storage failures. Uh, and also, when you go to the mirroring, it's again, we can have one-to-one -one mirroring one principle to uh, one mirror and it will be in restoring state. So it's enhancement for uh, both the mirroring and the uh, uh, clustering. And uh, the always on can deal with uh, storage failures and also we can have a multiple replicas, multiple secondary replicas in always on. Okay. So I do have a scenario here uh, where uh, the background is under the scale and front end is something uh, web application server okay. running on top of um, web sphere uh, you might have heard. Uh, uh, yeah, middle there. So <coughs> thing is, uh, uh, you know, web sphere application team is uh, complaining that, you know, SQL server connection is keep on changing. Okay. Error message, what error is saying, um, is a handshake is not happening properly between the application server and the uh, database server. Okay. So, the error is a long addition. So, how is that going to be troubleshoot or, uh, you know, what is your approach first? So, the, uh, so it's between uh, connectivity issue between application server and the uh, uh, right. database layer. Okay. Right. So, so they, they can be like uh, so. We need to see. Uh, we need. We need to check uh, a ping from application server to our database uh, server and also from database to application server whether uh, whether it is able to send and receive all the packets and and then uh, if it is something related to I O or something related to network related issues and we can uh, we can check. Uh, uh, current open connections and the weight, uh, weight types and performance counters. And depending on that, whether it is something to do with the SQL server or something out of SQL server, 
that can be uh, that can be uh, concluded uh, by uh, by checking a few uh, by running few DMVs and and by seeing the appropriate performance counters. Uh, but the thing is here, the communication and everything is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there is no network issue or there is no redundant level issue. Okay. Another message if we see, so clearly we showing that you know, SSL handshake is not happening. SSL handshaking. Right. Okay. Mm. Mm, not sure. <coughs> so, so So we are in, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, third party backup tools. Yeah, we recently have taken light speed. Uh, I'm just going through the, those articles. Um, if I get an opportunity to work uh, under third party tools, definitely mm -hmm. I can deliver the things. Okay. So recently you are involved in light speed, or uh, no, we have taken, but it's only uh, it is at. Uh, managerial discussions and still not roll out to the environment. Yeah, okay. <coughs> How would you are in scripting? The scripting, uh, I have a basic uh, and a PowerShell and, uh, and also a SQL scripting, SQL uh, stored procedures. So for to automate some of our DB activities, I have involved in writing some of the stored procedures. So yeah, definitely I can say I'm good at uh, those good things. Yeah. Okay. See, here is a scenario. You just tell me your approach, how you are going to do it. Okay. That's you know, that. The scenario is actually uh, there are a bunch of logs. Okay. Uh, from different different applications or SQL logs, whatever you have, maybe logs. Yeah. One part of the so that is uh, based upon uh, one server, some logs are there, one more server, some more logs are there, like that. Yeah. So around uh, 100 to 200 servers are there. Yeah. So the organization or uh, you know, customer decided to, you know, uh, that log put it into the database because there are uh, very important information is there in that log. Okay. So we to generally log means uh, we we'll delete. So, yes, you know, yeah. we need to yeah. you know, see that disk space and delete it right. Yeah. Or ask something will happen. But you know, to avoid that, so organization decided to, you know, put that log information into the database. Okay. So how we are going to be means what is your approach to putting that uh, information into the database and pulling the, you know, almost 100 servers uh, log information and, you know, importing into the database. So how, how we are going to do that? Yeah, uh, so for that, what we can do, uh, maybe if there is any centralized servers where we can have, we can maintain, uh, we can have all the uh, list of SQL servers, and we can get uh, that into uh, we can get those uh, database uh, server names, SQL server instance names into a temporary table by writing appropriate uh, query on that uh, databases where we have, or else we can write a cursor and we can get all those data uh, server names into a cursor and we can uh, we can loop through that uh, temporary table or uh, cursor and then. We can uh, get. Uh, we can define all the directory structure, and we can use a file extension, and uh, we can put a, some kind of loop and go th to go through all the uh, files in that particular folder, and to read the content and dump it into a, uh, uh, a table. Or you can use bulk insert kind of command or bcb kind of command to insert uh, uh, data from that particular uh, file. Okay. So in our case also we have uh, some kind of mechanism. We are not storing into any uh, any table, but what we are doing we retrieve uh, we retrieve data from uh, error log so from all the servers, and we gather into one centralized uh, server, and from there we just count each error. Say for example, backup is failed for uh, so and so database. So we count those errors. 
and we send one centralized email uh, using database mail and we say each error and number of occurrences. So that is what uh, we do. So similar format we can follow to get into a table instead of get into a data database. Okay. Okay, <laughs> what is different between um, log shipping or mirroring? Yeah, both are availability solutions and uh, log shipping is a very basic level uh, configuration and uh, it has some disadvantages like there is no automatic failover and uh, there will be a data latency from primary to secondary and if something goes wrong with our agent, then log shipping will not work. And in mm -hmm. case of mirroring, uh, it's a immediate hard standby or mirror is like whatever the transaction occurring on the principal, transactions will be immediately delivered to the mirror server. And but drawback here is uh, the secondary mirror server will be in the storing mode and uh, we cannot use it for any reporting purpose or anything else. And uh, with, with, uh, with addition of start witness servers, we can achieve automatic failover also in mirroring. Okay. <coughs> So why are you looking change? Again, question. Yeah, so better opportunity. Right now I'm working as a contract employee, so I'm looking for some permanent position. Uh, so my current I'm in Pune, so I'm looking out for uh, uh, any position in Chennai or Bangalore. Okay. As, as I'm belongs to AP. So, where do you prefer generally? Uh, because uh, I saw you your education and dialogue, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but my, my, my native is very close to Bangalore, so I'm preferring Bangalore. My first preference would be to Bangalore. Okay. It's just 100 kilometers from Adlang to Indupur. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. So what you are expecting from this uh, role as uh, from this organization? Yeah, definitely a challenging technical role uh, that should help me to grow technically in next two to three years. I should be able to uh, take a technical lead position. Uh, like I should be able to uh, give my technical guidance to the newcomers. Uh, so, so definitely it's a technical growth I'm expecting. So only technical growth you are expecting. And also salary. Okay, salary. <laughs> I believe there. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, you know, is there any plans, something like, you know, after uh, moving to Bangalore or something, plans and how you decide, some research are being there like that. So is there any plans? No, no, no. So I'm looking out for some good position in Bangalore. So if I get into SLK, definitely I'll stay there for a uh, minimum two to three years. Okay. So, um, you know the rules? Uh, yeah, are yesterday the Ashwini and all that, they both explained about what in the first level. Okay. So, and one more thing, uh, it will be there. Yeah. Uh, you discuss the question. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine yeah. with that, yeah. Uh, because, you know, we have to uh, work in shifts uh, to cover up the 24 box 7. Uh, there are, um, you know, huge uh, number of data that servers have there that need to be handled. Okay. So, that is one thing and continuously need to monitor and generate the reports and need to be sent to the customer and ind independently need to save the customer. Yeah. Uh, they uh, yeah. yeah. Support. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you are good, right? Yeah, I'm good. Even right now, also I'm into 24 by 7. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. Okay. So uh, there will be most probably a customer will uh, uh, have a small discussion with you. Okay. Okay. I will let you know that details. Okay. Or I will uh, update to HR, HR will uh, you know, update to you. Okay. Right. So, anything else? Or uh, do you have any questions? Yes, nice talking to you. Let's just, um, yeah, uh, Ashwini and all, they both explained everything about the environment and shifts and weekend. They may not, we may be able, we may have to work over the weekend sometimes. 
I'm good with yeah. all those things. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It was very really nice talking to you. And uh, I wish you a happy new year as well. Sure thing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.